What's up YouTube, I'm back with another video. And before we even get into this video, coming off All-Star Weekend, I just wanna let you guys know, Aaron Gordon was robbed. Like, how do you jump over a seven foot five human being and not automatically win the NBA dunk contest? I don't know, man. It's not adding up, it's not adding up to me. Like, that's just crazy. Aaron Gordon took to the public and said that he was robbed twice from the 2016 dunk contest and from the, uh, this year's dunk contest. So, with that being said, I mean, I think he should have won 2016 and this year. What y'all think? But uh, without further ado, let's get straight into this video. Coming in at number one, we got three brand new pair of Yeezys coming out. We have the Earth, Tail Light, and Flax colorways. These will be set for like different regions and stuff like that. It's another regions pack that Kanye and uh, Adidas is coming out with. So they'll only be located in different areas of the country. Coming off All-Star Weekend, all I can assume is that Kanye and Adidas are trying to get their funds up. They're trying to make some money. They only released one pair of sneakers, All-Star Weekend, and that was the um, Yeezy basketball shoes. I forget the name of them, but Kanye was actually giving them away in Chicago. And you know, shout out to Kanye for helping the kids out, the community out. I think the best shoe out of this pack will be the clay colorway, the uh, gray with the orange. I really like these ones out of all of them. If you want to get your hands on those, those will be retailing for 220 bucks. I don't know what the resale value will be like, but I mean, once they release, we'll see how that goes. Nike is getting ready to release another pair of Black History Month sneakers. I was a fan of the Air Force One Lows, uh, Black History Month. Those were kind of fire. I like how like the shoe strings were just like, I don't know, like the factory. I don't, I don't know if they're just the pictures I saw. The lacing looked kind of fire to me. You can style it your own way you wanted to do. The stitching was falling out of it. I just thought it was sweet. I liked it. But um, <laughs> Nike is releasing a pair of Air Max 95s, Black History Months, and these will be retailing 180 bucks. Here we have Air Jordan 1 Pine Green colorway. My latest video, I actually did an early look on these, so if you guys want to check them out, the link will be right here. Go check it out. Luckily, I was able to walk in the finish line, talk to the lady, get an early look at the sneaker. The leather on these sneakers are really good. One thing I don't like about the sneakers is the Wings uh, logo. It looks kind of like plasticky. When I looked at it in person, I didn't really notice it like that, but in pictures, it's really noticeable. These be retailing 170 bucks. I don't know if every store would be doing raffles on these or not, but a couple stores that I went to uh, in my local mall said they were doing raffles on them. So if I wanted them, come in like a couple days early before the drop, get the raffle ticket, cop the shoe. Other than the Wings logo, I think these shoes are fire. I like them. My friends are making fun of the sneakers, calling them mint chocolate Jordan ones, but I mean, there's no brown on it, it's just black and green. <laughs> but other than that, like I said, the shoes are fire. I like them. My friends, they're just hating. Let me know in the comment section if you like these or not. And uh, yeah, let's get into the next shoe. I know everyone's getting flooded with all the Supreme news that's coming out lately because they're getting ready to drop for another season. Supreme, they have a lot of cool stuff dropping this season. I'm definitely going to be trying to cop some of these items to resell. But other than that, Supreme and Nike are going to collab. They're going to be dropping two brand new Air Force Ones, black colorway and the white colorway. But guess what? They're retailing for $250. I don't know what Nike and Supreme was thinking for $250 retail when you can get these for 90 bucks at your local mall. And honestly, I could just buy a, like a Supreme like tiny sticker or something like that. If that's a thing, I don't know if it is or not. But other than that, I can just make like a Supreme tag and just stitch it to the sneaker and be good. Nike and Supreme, they gonna do what they want to do. Y'all gonna do what y'all want to do. Y'all want them, get them. I guess a plus side for the shoes retailing at $250 will be that they come with black and red laces that say Supreme on it. No, I still don't think that's worth 250 bucks. Nike Air Force One highs, those are breaks. Converse will also be releasing a Black History Month shoe. You know, I, I like what they got going on with these the different colorways in the hill of sneaker. I really like it. It reminds me of like the 90s or something like that. Like Stranger Things type vibes. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. The retail is going to be $75. These released today. Yo, these Mickey Mouse stance notes are hard. They got like this 3D print going on with it. I don't know if it's 3D or not, but it looks like it. I don't know if it's a woman's shoe or not, but I would assume so because it's Mickey Mouse. They're fire. I like them. Up next, we have the Odell Beckham Jr. Air Max 720s. And for the price point, $200 retail, I feel like the 720s should not be that high. I feel like it should be like one at like 160, something like that. The triple blacks are kind of decent, but the red ones, I'm not feeling those at all. Here we have the Nike Fair Guy ones. You know, I don't understand why Fair Guys are $350 retail. I don't get it. Maybe it's the quality on the shoe or just the name of the creator. $350 retail, that's a lot. I was on Twitter the other day and I saw this kid giving away a pair of the yellow ones that released, I think it was last year. The kid was just giving them away to someone. I was reading through the like replies of the tweet and they were like, this kid's stupid, blah, blah, blah. Like he gave away a pair of like retail $350 pair of shoes, but they resell for like a thousand bucks and he just gave them away for free. So that kid got hate for it, which I don't understand. He wanted to give him away, he wanted to give him away. He had the money to pay for his shoe for $350. He didn't care about the resale, 
He obviously poor, and he was like, I'm gonna give him to someone who needs He got hate for it, which I don't understand. Last but not least, we have the Off-White Jordan 5's cream colorway. So Virgil teased us with a video of a cream colorway getting like cut out or something like that with the, uh, you know, like the, you can create it and make it like your own shoe, like when he teased us with the video with the black pair. And it was girl doing it with the cream pair. I don't really know how to feel about the cream pair. I'm more of a fan of the black pair. Retail would be 200 and like, I think 20 bucks. There's no idea when these sneakers are releasing, but I'm pretty sure it'll be pretty soon because the other colorway came out recently. That's going to be it for today's video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, click that subscribe button below, show some love in the comment section, share this video, and...